What's up guys, Pursued Fire here today with another Minecraft data pack tutorial. In the last tutorial you could see we set up that little uh, timer that would go off and say Happy New Year to us uh, whenever it reached zero and then reset and continue to do that. Uh, and we went over the basics of scoreboards. So today we're going to go into one of the coolest features, I think, of scoreboards that are really awesome. And that is the slash trigger commands. So this basically allows you to create custom commands in Minecraft Vanilla. So as you can imagine, that's really, really powerful and awesome. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into it. All right. So what are triggers? Triggers basically allow you to carry out custom functions through uh, just typing it out through chat, um, almost like a command. So it basically allows you to create custom commands that you can use in your world, your servers or whatever. So, for instance, to do so, I could type slash trigger shock bite, and boom, it'll pop up with a little message. Click the link in the description below and use code launch to get 25% off your first month of Minecraft server hosting. If you click that link and uh, get yourself a server for as cheap as $2.50 before the 25% off, uh, you'll be helping out the channel and getting a good deal. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's make our own custom function. Okay, so I thought a handy trigger to have would be uh, like a teleport to spawn trigger. So instead of having to type out TP, add a, blah, 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 or like, and you don't want, or maybe you're on a server and you don't even want every player to be able to teleport like that to different spots and only be able to teleport to spawn, this would come in handy. So basically, let's go ahead and let's grab the coordinates here. So it is 14, 64, 501. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and hop over into Visual Studio Code and get this thing working. So in Visual Studio Code, the first file you're going to want to open up is your load.mc function file. So within inside of here, we need to actually initiate the uh, the trigger. So by doing so, we're just going to do scoreboard, objectives, add. And now you're going to want to name this uh, whatever you want the slash to be. So uh, we'll do this. We'll do slash spawn this one or sorry don't put a splash slash in there just put spawn uh, and we want it to be of type trigger okay so that's what you're going to type out for anything so this is the name of the trigger and then this is the actual function trigger so now that we have that set up let's go ahead and go over into our tick.mc function file here and the first thing we're going to need to do is enable it for our players so we're going to type in scoreboard players enable and for this one we'll just enable it for everyone you can put some uh, special parameters in here where if you have certain roles on your server you, and you only want certain roles to be able to do certain triggers, you could do that right here. But for us, we want everyone to be able to do this. So we're going to do spawn. And then after that, you're going to go down a line. And now here's how you're going to carry out that function. So we're going to type out executes as at a open and close square brackets, scores equal open and close curly brackets, spawn equals one or greater so one period period or one dot dot all right so now that we're executing as that player we want to do it at the player as well so we're going to type in at at s run okay so now here you can call a function that you've created you can do whatever you want this is where your actual command is going to be carried out at so for us we just wanted to teleport the player so we're going to do tp Oh, sorry. TP at S to 1464-501. I'm hopefully, I'm pretty sure it was a positive 501. So now we could go in and we could teleport if we go hop back into Minecraft. All right, so back inside of Minecraft now, we can test this out. So if we type in slash trigger, you'll see we get the option of spawn, the custom trigger we made. So if we hit that, Boom, we've teleported to our spawn location here. But you're going to see an issue. If we try to move, I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm tapping the, the W key, the WASD keys. I can't move, I can't jump, can't do anything. That is because we haven't reset the score. So we're just going to be constantly getting teleported here because our score is greater than 1 now. So let's hop back over into Visual Studio Code, fix that, and then try it out again. Okay, so to fix this is very easy, very simple, uh, just very quick command here. All we're going to do is type in executes as at a open and close square brackets scores equal open and close curly brackets spawn equals one or greater than one 
Uh, and then at the end of that, we're going to type in run, scoreboard, players, reset, at S, spawn. So now what that should do is that should reset every tick of the game, or reset anyone who has a score of spawn higher than one. Uh, so that'll bring it back to zero or negative one or whatever. And that way, so they can consistently use the, use the trigger as well as not being constantly teleported to that 1464-501 position. So let's go ahead and hop back into the game and check it out. All right, so back in the game, first thing we're going to need to do is reload our data pack. And now we are able to move again. So now let's go ahead and test out our trigger. Trigger, spawn, boom, teleports us right back. We can move and we can do it again. Hopefully. If I can type. There we go. All right. So yeah, so there you go. Now you can, you know, create your own triggers to teleport your player wherever they want. I think this is very useful for servers and stuff like that. If you only want players to be able to teleport to spawn or to a certain city or to their house or whatever. Uh, or if you want to create a fast travel system for an RPG uh, role playing map or role playing server that you're wanting to create. Yeah, this can go very, very, very deep uh, and be awesome. So you're limited to your imagination with this. <laughs> But that's going to do it for today. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more Minecraft content. I upload almost daily. I'm going to actually have a daily upload going through January if everything works where I'm uh, challenging myself to improve my building skills. Uh, you may not think I need to after seeing my awesome spawn building behind me there. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, I hope it helped you out. If it did, comment, leave a like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great New Year's and a great rest of your day. Thank you.